All right, welcome to Critical Foolery. So this is Mech Warrior Online. I am one of the new players after the heyday of what this was in the past, as a lot of old players and stuff and YouTube videos will talk about. Um, it's from my perspective. I still think it's a game that you should play if you like mechs or if you're a fan of Battletech. It's got different things in the sense that it's got its skill tree. Uh, you kind of it's almost like a RPG leveling up type system and it works pretty good it's a little weird unless you know what to look for it's pretty in-depth a little bit of a steep learning curve but we will get into the gameplay so we have quick play here I'm going to be running the cataphract uh, I kind of like the look of it and everything as you can see I've painted it through the samurai uh, face on it make it a little bit of a warrior now when we get into this here this is the skill tree I'm talking about that is kind of convoluted if you don't know what you're looking for in conjunction with that you have what's called mech quirks and if you look down in here it will show you uh, basically special abilities for lack of a better word of the mech itself some bonuses and that kind of thing as you can see here base armor all that kind of stuff so to help new players out Ballistics cooldown is pretty good here with minus 20, energy cooldown minus 10%, and ballistics velocity plus 10%. So we have an AC20 in the torso and some medium lasers, and we'll go from there. Normally it doesn't take too long to find a match, but we'll see what happens. It all depends. Quick play is the generally the way to go. You kind of get it in the 12 versus 12 brawling match of some kind and you have what's called three lances basically three teams of four if you have friends to play this it's awesome at the beginning of every uh, thing you get a selection it's randomized so you can pick a map the more times that your map isn't chosen the more points basically the map vote multiplier increases and then the more weight you can throw around kind of thing same thing with the game mode and so it looks like we got Frozen City, which is a fairly common one. Uh, it gives you a fair bit of places to hide, to run around. It can be kind of hard to see. There's a bit of open ground and general mix of everything. Skirmish is your general, just let's kill everybody. Let's go for it. We'll go into loading screen. And then the cool part is you get to see everybody in there. As in who's on your team, what kind of mechs you got, to get an idea. Sometimes if you play long enough and find the same kind of people, you'll end up uh, recognizing them. If Yeah. Right now I'm playing solo by myself. Uh, I have a, friend, a couple friends I play with that are decent, are back from the old days. I am not. I came on later. So as you can see here, the mechs are uh, abbreviated. You can kind of see that we have a couple people dropping in teams here. And right now we have a lot of... How's it going, everyone? It's the same kind of mechs. And here we go. So the Cataphract is kind of considered the Franken mech in, in old lore and that kind of thing. And it's pretty sturdy. I can understand why it's called a Franken mech because it just doesn't quite die. Now you can play with different vision. Heat is normally pretty good because as you can see it can set out. You also have night vision which is just blinding and normal vision. With the snow it's not quite that great so we're gonna play in heat vision. Sorry it doesn't necessarily give the most uh, visual beauty but we are able to help see more. This guy's got ECM, electric, electronic countermeasures. So we kind of stick, want to stick close to him because it makes it harder for people to see us. And we'll see. It's kind of a valley in the, in the middle and you work towards each other, or set up a firing line is what they call it, basically a spot that you'll hold and go from there. I don't know the stuff so well for what is the best line to go up but uh, we'll try to find a spot because we're a medium to short range build here kind of good for hitting stuff as you can see we're scouting a bit uh, we 
you don't really want to be here. I'm still figuring out positioning. Sometimes you have a really good game knowing where you're on our side in D7. positioned. Other times, not so well. And as you can see, we're scouting stuff Mando so people are getting an idea. Oh, where do we have the missiles coming from? Ooh, Left side. Uh, we're going to keep pushing through here. Uh, you can also get consumables. I don't have any set up, but let's see what we can do. We're kind of getting in range of stuff now to at least lend a hand. We'll watch our backs because we're kind of split into two, and we'll support our assault here. Give a little bit of a good one-two punch. Oh, a little off. I haven't played this in a while. Yeah, I'm Jaguar. Seriously, in between the arm. All right, just took out the center torso. So as you can see, we have different armor in different places and that little hologram icon. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're gonna try to not block this guy, keep off to the side. That is a big Kodiak we do not want to mess around with. Uh, we might regret this. Uh, we're going to try to go back over here. I don't really want to sit there in, in that area. We're going to try to run around through this. Oh, that's a bad thing to come across a Fafnir. I should have paid more attention. We'll buy time. We're just going to buy time, keep them a little bit distracted. <laughs> and yeah, so that's kind of Mech Warrior. I didn't do that great this time, but you can see we took quite a bit of damage of Frank and Mech, and we'll continue to see what's going on. We'll chip off a bit of the rest since this is like the first game in a couple couple weeks. And it's a bit slower than your common uh, first person shooters, but it's got a lot of small things that make it pretty good. So torso twisting. You can see the enforcer when he blew up there. Uh, what it is is he had an uh, extra light engine. Somebody get this javelin off me. Please. And, Please. and uh, what that means is he's okay, sacrificed. Echo 5. Basically, durability for speed and engine size and Coming weight. As fast as I can. And unfortunately, when you lose what's called one torso, obviously, go. you uh, you end up dying pretty quick. Good, good, good. I was that, almost there. That being said, our team should be just doing fine. We we put a, quite a bit of hurt on them early on and split them up and distracted them. This build is so broken, but it's so vulnerable to lights. Yeah, mine too. And we'll see what's going on. One guy left. Where are they? they? Like 150 meters away. Are you running ATMs also? I am running, yes. Oh, are you running the same thing I am? I think you are. Wait, are, are we two quad ATM-12 builds? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> sometimes they're disconnected. Sometimes they're... Order we're up 11 for. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, so th there's a disconnect. Uh, should be at their spawn probably uh, can I look at the map no I can't are you doing tag or light tag full tag I got full. three three small pulse and a full tag nice so we'll see what happens see if we can find That's it I was having trouble with the javelin there we go I've got small pulse, please. I've got two heavy mediums one heavy light and a light tag let's see I can see that just because I shouldn't really shoot at something unless it's within 450 meters. So there we go. Our team ended up winning, carrying it through. Uh, we were just a damaged sponge, but hopefully the next game we'll be able to uh, take a bit more of a beating and give a bit more damage. No, out. only 915. You can see at the end of this, the pilot skill rating change is kind of based on how well you do the figure overall. We equaled out. Uh, 
So yeah, you can kind of see you. Uh, everybody's done at the end of the day. Life, so I didn't do a lot. Um, I was over um, in E5 yeah. with their Kodiak and their Eben and this like a 4 game. Bad cat did pretty good. Nice. Anyways, thanks, and we'll uh, see you in the next game. All right, welcome back to our second game. So I've now added the consumable uh, item. It's a UAV, so it'll give us some oversight here. We're going to do a drop and just a normal skirmish again. This time it looks like we got a Catapult, Warhammer 2C, uh, Abitur Jaguar Prime. So it looks like we got some weight kicking around here. Got some ECM and stuff over there. We can zoom in, zoom out, all that kind of stuff. And sorry, it's domination. So we're gonna go check stuff out. We're gonna take a look around, look at all the beautiful stuff, because it is a pretty good looking game. Uh, a little bit laggy as it loads everything in. But that's okay. We're gonna try to get to the center as soon as possible since they've already have somebody, so we're gonna keep an eye out to see if there's a light or something. There's something going on over there. One of our guys is already in. This might be a bad spot to be. Yep, that's what I thought. I'm big, wide, there you are. There you go. Uh, so, definitely a dumb idea to walk out in the open like I was doing. <laughs> but as I said, I'm still learning this game, and it's been a while since I played. So we're trying to stay in the buildings here, keep a little bit of a closer eye, look out. We do know that that one guy's up there, so probably should have took artillery instead. That means we'll have to keep an eye out in front of us since somebody could come around the the edge of the island and they're just holding. Are you serious? All right. So we got a Vulcan as well. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, uh, that should feel good on you. That's right. Drop down. Oh. Nice artillery strike, or yep, oh, it's not gonna be good. Okay, I'm royally botching this one up. Let's keep going here. Uh, I'm getting stuck. So, we're gonna find oh, what's he doing? We're gonna try to find our, our position here, I'm trying to find a good spot. They're all pushing this side, so we're going to try to regroup with our guys over here. I ran through that a little bit, sorry. Now we can, if they're not just going to run around, I think we're just going to run around. Um, we could try and maintain a firing line. It looks like we got a little bit of stuff to here, so hopefully they're not too far away. So we can pop in, poke. Oh, looks like we hit him in the head. Yeah, two in the middle, there. We're gonna give him our left side. Got that wolf on coming back to box trap eight. Okay, so we got some. They're all balling up here. Thankfully, we're still alive. We're gonna try to find another spot to keep pumping out some damage and stuff, and hopefully not die. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on here. Uh, oh, we got an atlas. Uh, bugger. Okay, that was not too bad of an exchange there. The atlas is scary as all get out. We are flirting with death, and that stupid wolfhound's still up there. Uh, let's try to find another angle. Gonna lose that left arm soon. Let's see if we can help out over here. Oh, a little bit of lag. Well, oops. There we go. All right, uh, let's continue around the side. I'm not having the best of luck here. Or not the best of luck. It could just be my positioning. Since we're going dark, we're gonna switch to heat vision. And wait for... Uh, he didn't like getting that. I was shooting him in the back. 
I'll shoot him. Yeah, I ate that one. What? Okay, we are open and the center torso. We're probably gonna die soon. <laughs> Charge! Oh, try to. Okay, he's above us. We're gonna try to pop in here. See if we can't. Ah, stupid wall. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I pushed it too much, and we're starting to drop anyways. So we'll see what happens here. I need to find a better way to uh, to engage and stuff. As I'm saying, I'm still learning. It's okay to do that. Sometimes you do really well. Sometimes you don't. You're figuring out stuff. When they start running into teams too, there's really good skilled players here who can be uh, really punishing. But that's kind of the fun where it's hard fought, hard, hard earned kind of thing. Yeah, he got wrecked too. Uh, what do we got here? ATMs? Those are pretty good. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to get swarmed soon. What else do we got here? Oh, they got someone. So the Shadow Cat's pretty good at running around. Does he got ECM? Yeah, too. So he's hard to hard to spot running around, and he's a lost guy here. Can he get a couple more kills in? He might. One more shot to the center and that, that summoner's dead. That was pretty good. Uh, if they leg him though, he's going down. So you can see when you're running around, you should really press R. It's acquiring target so you can kind of see what's going on. And he's down. So there's a fair bit to learn, but it it's uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. I don't know what's going on with the sky right now though. A little bit glitchy back and forth. So as you can see, our pilot skill rating went down. That makes sense. We didn't do too well that game. 235 damage done, 462 taken. Uh, you can see they were running a team of four, it looks like there. We had a team of three, at least. And yeah, they, they played really well. All right, welcome back. We are playing Terra Therma and Conquest. We'll see how this goes. I don't play this map very much. Conquest, you basically try to catch five different points or at least control as many points as possible and basically uh try to win Doing win right. as much points you can still technically lose everybody but if you've maintained the, the capture up. points for as long as possible you can uh nah, it seems like we're of one mindset. We're both end up winning these guys are sure talking quite a bit i gotta turn down the volume at some point but as you can see on our map we got five different points Theta ends up being normally pretty much right in the middle, so we're going to start heading heading that way. Hopefully our lights catch Sigma on the side there. And am I going the right way? Let's take a look. I'm not sure we'll cut over this way. We're not particularly fast, but we're not too slow. And yeah. The environments are pretty sweet. Being in lava is pretty cool. I don't... Uh, that's a that's a good question. He's just <laughs> all right. So we're gonna stick with the group a little bit. We're gonna let them capture while we keep going towards Theta. Yeah, and then we'll try to see where the enemy is. There we go. Got a little prana running around. Piranhas can be nasty little buggers, especially if they're not on your team. <laughs> uh, we'll drop down here. Extra points if you can get Kappa too. Echo 7, Fox 7 is a bottleneck. We got way too many guys there. We got a good uh, left side here in Fox 8, so we should be able to come in if we can stall them over here. Well, we'll see what we can do. We're kind of l that long range right now, and I don't want to get into that too much. We'll see what's going on here. So they're kind of sitting back. We'll try to find one of these bigger guys to stick with. I know we're heavy, but we want to 
wait until they get a little closer. LRM galore. Got a bushwhacker. We'll wait a little bit longer and then we'll throw up our UAV here. See if we can't get something over the side. I uh, might have blinded myself. Watch out for the path near. Okay. Enemy UAV up as well. Uh, we might be lucky. They might push this. That's the UAV. There we go. Kit Fox, Kit Fox. Oh, we missed him. He's gonna get. He's just gonna get chewed out. We got somebody up there. All right, Lions, let's get back to our team. They're getting fucked over there. There we go. We took out the enemy UAV. We got somebody in our back. So maybe we will alpha light. We're not doing too bad, actually. We're two up. One up. Ah, oh, my aim is horrible. Open his back. Bugger, he knocked off my... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see how we do. So this might be the point where we uh, take all, all the captures because we were holding the lead that way. And again, we just soaked up a lot of damage, but we did a little bit of damage there. And we'll see how it goes. And looks like we might lose this. Oh, crap. Oh, well. So, cataphracts like a big barn door. Everybody can shoot it pretty good. Also, finding lately that I tend to wait way too long to uh, get out of places that I shouldn't be <laughs> and I don't move very fast also facing down a Fafnir is like staring down a shotgun barrel and going it's okay I'm fine come on commando let's see what you can do we got two left two of our guys are up so we got the Phoenix Hawk we were spread out too much and they weren't Now, if they if they just go and maintain caps, uh, if one of our guys maintains caps, we might be able to. Y'all need see. to remember that when someone's poke, when, sorry, when, not poking, when someone's peeking, don't block them, please. Okay, I'm gonna run. We might win. They have too many mechs. So they should be able to split but up. You can grab and, gamma uh, really fast too, right? Three caps, so you're probably gonna have to take one cap. Yeah, what they're talking about running, we need to maintain a capture points, but we might get it. Uh, I'm going to try, we'll see. Maybe they'll split up and I can get someone. We can kill, get one more kill or something. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's going to. Hopefully he can get into it. Technically, if you were close enough, just hold Sigma for all your work. And you might Actually, get it. Actually, they probably left the middle cap open. So you can probably sneak back there and try to take the middle cap and flip it. Nah, there'll be one mech at Theta Garden. Only if they're smart. So you, you can see the enemy's fully capturing it too, so it takes time instead of just catching it and I going. I think we were exactly smart after splitting up that badly. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on. It looks like looks like we're probably going to lose. Cause oh yeah yeah, we just have to take out our guy and and we're done. That's okay though. Nice thing it's a, it's pretty yeah, short it like right. in the sense that yeah, like they're ten minute matches. High, it's so a lot of fun. You can queue there. back up and yeah. and go again. He's hurt. Oh, yeah, and he's out. down. <laughs> there goes the shotgun. So well, let's take a look at the score. See how the teams are doing. Uh, well, I th thought we were doing okay at the beginning, but we balled up pretty good and just got taken out. So. 
uh, Fafner was doing pretty good. So he's on a team with two of them. Uh, we had a team of three there. Not too bad on damage. Yeah, we're kind of sitting there. That's okay. We'll play another match and we'll continue to improve. All right, welcome back. We are HPG Manifold and Domination. It's basically like a lunar base, so it's pretty sweet. Hopefully we can do some uh, better damage this time around. Um, I've added a light PPC to the left torso, upgraded the structure as we come along and gain what's called sea bills, this world's form of money. So we'll slowly, slowly add to our mech and continue to improve them. That includes buying the skill points. So as we get out, you can see to the left there, there's the PPC, which is kind of cool. So you'd be like, Psh! a little bit of a flash though. And we'll keep going. We'll try it out. I'm excited to play this map. It's normally pretty brawly, pretty fun. Uh, can get into position. There's the lucky eye, as everybody calls it. And you shoot the lucky eye for uh, good gameplay or so I'm told. I don't always do it, but we'll try it out. See, we'll keep an eye over that way. Oh, we're a little too high on that. So cool, we already have guys in the center, but they've also have people in the center. So you can go in the basement, or we're gonna follow up top here. We're gonna try to get up top and hold top. That way we can shoot anybody that might show up. There's a Fafnir. Oh, there's a Phoenix Hawk. Keep an eye out. Well, oh, we missed that. So our torso is fairly high mounted, which is nice. Okay, they're kind of popped out, and we're going to push through this. And push through. Oh, oh boy. That's not good. We're going to get out of here. Uh, maybe not. Strike on the back of uh, Delta 5. Nope. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Charlie Fanks talks GP. Oh, what just hit me? All right. Oh, that sound that feels like a heavy Goss gun. Oh, we're dead. We're dead, but we're alive. That did not feel good. Yeah. Where's the rest of our team? So positioning I found in the last four games and since I've started playing is a big thing. You want to make sure your positioning is on point or stuff like that will happen as well as staying out too long and being caught up. Uh, we'll, we'll try. I have hit nothing this match. This is great. Oh, we have a linebacker. Uh, we'll help out. Oh, no, I'm down. <laughs> and we're dead. Yeah, we didn't do much damage there. So Fafnir's normally carry, that was that big guy, normally carry like heavy gauze. And when you get hit with those, there's not normally much left of you. Come on, get the blackjack down. Uh, don't get caught up it's going for the one though. Uh, he's down. Yep. Oh well, <laughs> we'll there is a sniper on the Delta Four wall, Thanatos. Try, try, and try again. Team almost this got catapult doesn't even know he's here. He's just getting shot in the back. Oh, let's see what else. Uh, we'll go back to the Wolfhound. Oh, he must be dead. Ooh, MRMs. I like MRMs a lot. We got two of our guys left. There we go. Uh, so see how he's twisting? I need to learn how to do that better. 
he's looking at him and looking away, it spreads the damage out across the mech. Is this locust able to survive? I don't think so. Nope. Man, that guy is on point with for the drop, everybody. his gauze rifle. Better luck on the next one. Yep. Yep, like he said, better luck on the next one. Yeah, so 86 damage done. We didn't really do too much. We got that one side taken out pretty quick. Uh, we did take a fair bit of damage, considering. Where is it? Pulse Boy? That Fafnir? Yeah, he put out... He was just on point with his damage. Not a high damage game, but definitely definitely went pretty fast. Oh, look, we had a four-man team. Anyways. We'll see you in the next one.